We've been moving to the new modern stream experience in Microsoft 365. Your videos are now in SharePoint and in OneDrive and to complete part of that puzzle, we have a new stream web part. It has been out for a little while and some people have formed opinions about it. Let's take a look at it with me now. We have uh, the stream web part, I've already added it to a page, just to give you a look so we can then look under the covers. This is in what's called a theater mode. So there are videos that it's pointing to and I can go along the carousel, find the video I wanna play and play it. And so it's playing it in that theater mode just above the rest of the videos. So that's, that's pretty cool. We can see that it is the stream web part uh, because it is showing the usual bits and pieces, comments, video settings, uh, the usual new controls that we see there too. Uh, and uh, I haven't turned anything on here for this particular video, um, but let's let's take a look at how this has been added to a page because there are some things that in this first release don't quite hit the mark, some that do. Um, let's edit the page. So scrolling on down to it, what have we got so far? Well, if we wanted to add the stream web part to begin with, uh, the classic stream web part has been removed earlier in September, I wanna say, and it's now replaced with just regular stream. No other choices. Uh, when we put it onto the page for the first time, it's going to choose the theater mode to begin with, and it's also going to look at videos that are stored on the SharePoint site. That's how it's scoped. It'll look for any videos on the site. Um, so let's take a look at some of the settings that we've got available. Um, the video source, as I said, it's selecting videos on the site, but we've got other choices here too. I've popped all my videos into a folder, which I'll step through and I'll show you where they are. Uh, I've got an option to choose that as just the folder where I want those videos and a single video. What we don't have is a bit like highlighted content. We can't actually choose other sources for where those videos are stored. And we don't have anything like significant filters uh, to you know, be able to filter where those videos are and what they look like. Maybe we've tagged certain videos for certain things. We don't have those options in this first release. Uh, the layouts that we have available, uh, as you see, theatre, we'll change it to grid. And we can set how many rows and how many videos we're going to show. I think I've got about five or six in there. Uh, let's go through across here. Five, right. Um, this one actually, if I just save this now, this plays a little differently, the grid view. Um, so this, you can see it kind of sort of pop out a bit from the page. And as we play it, it goes into something of a modal window, uh, which is okay. What I don't like about this is it's almost like it's magnifying everything. Um, and as you can see, it's got the uh, title of the file, it would seem, right over the top of the, the video. Um, so I'd, I'd kind of want to have that, you know, smaller controls and, and also the text. I don't want to see the text at all. This, this is really just a preview, I think. If I was using Grid, it'd be, oh, yep, this is the video I'm looking for. I could watch it through from here. But in both cases, I can click on the video and launch it in stream and I can watch it in full on, on the screen there. And I've got all the, the actual controls for that. Uh, like I do from stream. But it's really, this this web part is about trying to display it uh, in a nice attractive way that is quite engaging on the page. And you know, my advice would be that it's, it's trying to also do it so that we don't have all this extra stuff all over the top of it. The focus is the video. It's not necessarily about, um, you know, the title of it. So this is the grid view, but let's, let's switch back to the theater view and take a look at some of the other settings as well. Um, you can see too the new pattern that we've got where we can make quick changes to things like the layout directly from the web part. So that is helpful. Um, edit the web part, cool, cool. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the source and show you that there's one thing here that uh, I do have these videos in a folder. It's in the documents library in a folder called videos. So at this point here, we can go through and find the uh, folder that we want to scope it to, documents. 
and they are situated here. So to choose the video folder, what I've found is I'm selecting it and that's going to create the path in the web part. Now that's the, the path, cool, but it's having some trouble for some reason displaying those videos. The destination was renamed, moved or deleted. No, 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 it hasn't been. Uh, let's just uh, take a quick look at the document library just for good measure. Site contents, documents. I feel like the computer from Galaxy Quest. <laughs> Calling out everything as I go. Video folder, here they are. They've been there for a while. Um, I don't know, I don't know why it doesn't load. Um, we'll get back to the home page. Uh, and back into edit mode. Okay, so folder, folder choice doesn't quite work at the moment. Uh, but what does work is single video. So we can go into our site, find where that video is. Um, so this site, documents. What I haven't tried yet is pointing it to a video that is stored on another site. This suggests that it will work. Okay, so it's just embedded here. We'll publish that. There's no, there's no settings here now. We've just chosen a video. So we don't get to choose things like don't show title over the top of video. Um, let's publish that. Play it. It works. And it's, it's stream, it's embedded, it's there. Um, it, as I said, it doesn't look too bad uh, from the perspective of here it is on the page. Uh, if anything, you know, I've got the title over the video, that's fine, but I want the choice to be able to remove it. And I do want to show you something interesting about the title too. This is something that we see when uh, we are working with this web part. Um, let's change it back to grid. So away from single video, videos on the site. Okay, we've got the, oh, theater view I mean. Um, there was one video on this list which I didn't bother changing the name. Here it is, Copilot and OneDrive Promo. Now that's the name of the file. <laughs> the name of the file. It could be gobbledygook. It could be something I've uploaded from my, my phone. And that could be some random name. I don't really want that um, put over the top of the video. But I do have some influence in terms of what that uh, name is. So let's have a look at that. Go through to, there it is, Copilot video. So we play that, plays in the theater view, cool. Um, we can change it by going through to opening it in stream. And my first thought was, what if I changed it down here in the about section of the, the video? I'll get rid of the promo part because that's the part that we don't need to see. It is Copilot and OneDrive, that's what the video is about. Um, but I want you to see, just up at the top, the file is still called Copilot and OneDrive hyphen promo. Right, that's still the name of the file. So we've only changed the title in the about section of the video. Let's refresh the page where the stream web part is. Has it changed anything? Let's get back down here and play the video. Promo. Still got promo, dash promo. Interestingly, there's a bit of inconsistency there, isn't there? It shows the name of the file in the carousel where the video is, uh, but over the top of the video, it's showing the title of the video. Uh, if I click about video, yeah. So that's interesting. Uh, one further thing, if we do want to make them the same, we've actually got to change the name of the file. So if I click into uh, here and get rid of the name dash promo as the suffix, refresh. You know, it's things like this where it matters to me what is displayed over the top of the video uh, and whether or not I can control whether it's there. Um, so here's the title. Oh, no, <laughs> whoops, we'll find the right video. Um, there it is. Still promo for some reason. Strange. <sighs> Consistency. It may be at some search thing, but uh, when I was playing around with this earlier, I changed the name of the file, I changed the name of the title, and it displays correctly. 
Uh, could be a refresh thing, but that's all right. Uh, continuing to look at the stream web part, what else have we got? We've got um, some options about how many videos we want to display. So we can you know, drop that down to just the two, three, I think the maximum is 10. Whoop, no, 30. <laughs> so if you want to show a full, full on library of all those videos uh, and it's in theater mode, Theater mode, as I said, it, it plays the video at the top, and then if we wanted to show more rows, as I increase those rows, you can see that it's now, because there's only five videos, it's got rid of the carousel, and I can see the videos there. I really want them to go too high in this number here. It starts to take up a, a good portion of the page. That's the one that has the limit. It's the number of rows. 10 rows of videos, um, yeah, that's that. I wouldn't go that high, it doesn't look that great. Um, and look, the only options here we've got at the moment in this first release are to sort it by recently created, recently edited, so that should, in theory, bump that co-pilot one to the top because I just edited the name and that's considered an edit in, um, in SharePoint world. Let's uh, refresh that. Nope. Um, well, I don't know. I know what's going on here. It's not quite behaving as expected. Uh, re hmm. Interesting. So making that choice now, it has added a title to the web part, recently edited videos. And if I click see all, Ah, interesting. So it opens up in its own viewing web page. I don't see, yeah, it's treating it as a list of videos. And if you look at the URL, there's a see all the ASPX, an instance ID, etc. But point is that it's, it's like going to see all news and rolling them all up. So now if we click on, yeah, we can see this in theater mode, I guess, still. Yep. Um, change that to that video. Cool. Yeah. That, that's quite good. So if you want to focus on seeing all the videos and working your way through them, then that could be good too. But what a lot of people are commenting about, and this is in uh, Tech Community. Yeah. It was in another search. Um, they're talking about things like we want to be able to have more control over how the videos are ordered and basically so there's not a lot of maintenance on the page but you set it, you forget it, you upload your videos as you need to, you tag them as you need to and they display depending on the settings that you make. Now what we do have here perhaps is an indication of the what's still coming for this web part. Remember this is just first release. What we can see is there's other options like uh, being able to turn the description on and off. Uh, still we've got sorting of newest to oldest. Um, no indication there of filters, but there is another view, the list view. So they're not done yet, right? This is just the first iteration. And look, it's perfectly fine to be able to, if we go back to see some of those tech community comments, disappointing. <laughs> Look, I know it's been a little while in the making and there has been feedback given to the team as they've built this web part. Sometimes first iterations and first first releases do come out to be a bit disappointing and not quite hit the mark. They don't behave the way that we expect them to. But don't give up. This is this is all part of giving feedback and letting people know what what we want out of, out of a new web part and out of features within Microsoft 365. So keep dropping your comments, your questions and your feedback there into the tech community. And there is a whole section on Microsoft Stream and that's where you can go and, and you know share your thoughts on how the new Stream web part is uh, panning out for you. I think I'm gonna use it Definitely going to use it because I think it's an improvement over the other options that we had 
in the interim. The file viewer web part, you know, it, it had its, its problems too about how things were displayed. I did start to use the hero web part <laughs> and I pointed it to a video and that was actually the cleanest way of displaying a video on the page. It, it, it felt like uh, I had a lot of control over it. It could play in place on, on, this, on, the, um, on the page. But uh, yeah, I think that this, this first release of the string web part is quite scoped down and limited to videos on your site and it doesn't give a lot of options around being able to filter and set and forget. And we're still a little limited with how things are viewed and, and shown here on the page. A lot of promise here in the theater view. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that, you know, you don't have to go far. You can just click on the page and start to use it. Now, I just caught, thought of something as well as we we're just finishing off. Um, we can edit this web part. There was just a couple of other options here. Yeah, so show web part title bar. Yeah. So at least we can do that. Can we change the title? Yeah, we can. So at least we can do that too. So we could name the videos that are there and it might be that it's from a certain folder on a certain topic, maybe for from a certain event. And so we can name the title bar. Right, well that was uh, a bit more than a quick look, but hopefully this has been thorough and raw and authentic. Um, <laughs> if you're keen on seeing more of this kind of stuff and me prattle on about things that are in Microsoft 365, um, then you know where to find me and you know what to do. Like, subscribe and all that. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.